Okay, hello, hello. I hope that audio isn't too loud. I turned it down. Um, but for me, again, I'm always still working on how to do audio stuff. But welcome to Dark Nights. It is a free game I found on Steam. And I was looking to start doing some dating games and some text reading games. Because I want to play some stuff. And I need to start playing things by myself. Because, you know, lonely girls problems. But... This is what I came to. This is what lonely girls do, right? I think. I mean, some of them do Minecraft. And I guess others do Valorant. But I do this. So I'll hopefully find myself in games like these. And hopefully you can come along for the journey with me. I know nothing. Literally nothing about this game. I've never played a game like this before. I know about games like these. But that is it. That is all. So come with me. And let's do the thing. Um... Set your name. Wait, is that my name? Can I? Oh, I can pick it. We're going to go with my alter alter, Emiko. That is uh, a name I've had since high school for things, doing things. I think it will be perfect for this. Okay, here we go. I should have gone home earlier. My shoes are getting soaked. Yeah, if you knew it was going to be raining, I mean, you definitely should. I mean, I don't always look at the news myself, but yeah. Everything is so boring these days that I keep losing track of time. Staying at home does not help, so I often go out. The library is one of my favorite places to go visit because it has so much for me to discover. Even then, there's a limit to what I can do there. True, you can't do too much in a library. You know, that's just a given. But, like, if you like a bookworm, I'll admit, side story, in high school, I used to go to Borders. There was a couple times I was a bad girl and left class early when it was canceled. And I would go to the neighborhood Borders store and read my manga and other romance stories. So I get that. I wish something interesting would happen in this village every once in a while. Anything that can kill my boredom. Careful with that kill word now, you know. <laughs> go, go. I often pass by this mansion during the day. But this time, it catches my attention. Hmm... I wonder when was the last time anyone last visited this place. No other house in the village looks as lonely as this one does. From afar, it looks grand. If I had to guess, it was probably built over two centuries ago. See, she way better than me, because I can't tell you or estimate the age of a house. So I'd be like, that house looked like it was built in 1647. And they're like, you know, that was just built yesterday. And I was like, you know what? You right, my bad. Y'all did a good job. I mean, you got that authentic vintage look. Okay, let me shut up. The atmosphere changes as soon as I approach the house. The whole building is surrounded by a veil of thin mist. All the plants in the gardens have been taken over by the weeds. Behind the trees, I notice an empty fountain with a fairy statue in the middle. Its expression makes the environment even more depressing. No matter how you look at it, this place has incredible... Ugh. This place has an incredibly mysterious aura. There is something new to discover with each gaze around the premise. Some of the windows are broken and the door is locked with heavy chains. My feet started to get cold, drawing my attention to my wet socks. Yeah, because you're staring so heavenly at this house that you just really notice for once today of all days every little detail about it while standing in the rain without an umbrella. Probably without shoes, because socks shouldn't get wet like that. Okay, whatever. Ugh. I have to come back another time if I want to explore. Oh, shit. I saw that. I almost missed it, but I saw it. As I'm about to turn around, I see a shadow move behind the windows. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I try to focus on it, but it's already gone. It's as if nothing ever happened. I mean, that's what happens when, you know, little, the light catches your eye and then the... the, the, the okay, let me shut up. Huh? Was that a person? Or was it just my imagination? I continue staring at the windows, but nothing else happens. Even though that was strange, I am more curious than freaked out. Of course, might have seen person, maybe a ghost, in a crazy haunted house that has chains on it. And I'm like, fascinating. Anyway, I don't want to stay in the rain any longer than necessary. Oh, this is off to a beautiful start, darlings. 
My mind is clouded by the thoughts of the mansion. Class starts soon. The first hour is history, my least favorite. Preach! I definitely failed history in high school. I will admit that. <laughs> Sad story. Tragic. It does not take long for me to doze off. I'll just take a short nap until class is over. I won't miss much anyway. Is this really a story of my life? <laughs> Did I finally enter a game? No, nah, that ain't me. Let me stop. Let me stop. I mean, that could be me in the alternate. You know, I'm cute. I'm cute. I take it. I got the rolls in my hair. That that is what I would not mind looking like with a few adjustments on a couple, a lot of things. But that's neither here nor there. When I finally open my eyes, school has already ended. I slept through all of my classes. I should be reprimanded for it, but my teacher, Miss Blankchit, does. <laughs> Cause I was <laughs> blank Blankchit. Blanch it, blanch it. I don't know why I can't say that word. Oh, and that's Mr. Ex Blanch it. Does not usually mind. He gives me special treatment because he knows I live alone and there is no one for him to rat me out to. Perhaps I should not do that too often. My classmates look at me with resentful glares. I notice assignments on my desk history and chemistry. Mr. Blanchett gives us more homework than usual. Oh, gosh. I can't believe I'm saying a name like that. <laughs> okay, so I am an orphan, pretty much. And it's crazy how they just let orphans do things like this. I thought, well, it might be a cultural thing, you know? That's cool. That's cool. It can't get any more boring than doing the same assignments over and over again. It seems like the other students already have gone home. My friends didn't even bother to wake me up. Oh, I have friends? And they didn't wake me up? That's real. My imaginary friends didn't even wake me up. I feel that. I feel that, girl. I will get back at them for this. Yep, I won't think about them for a whole day. Mm-hmm. God. Now I feel too lazy to get up. Once I am ready, I start to head home. Even though I'm walking on the main road, no one is around. It is usually quiet today. <clears throat> it is unusually quiet today. And after what Loji told me, I am feeling especially on edge. My footsteps echo in the silence of the empty street. When I hear another set of footsteps, I glance back, relaxing when I see it's only a boy from my school. I look up at the cloudless sky and yawn. <sighs> to the sky because it's all about me even though I haven't done anything today I feel so exhausted I want to jump back into bed I take a few turns it might be a coincidence but the boy behind me seems to be following me I have been walking very slowly this entire time so he should have passed me by now side note I just realized the actual screen because I, I will just read and read. I'll take a note at the screen and keep going. But since this is my first time doing videos like this, I want to be more interactive. This is pretty. This is pretty. I want to take note of these things. Again, I don't really play these types of games. So I can't um, give a true uh, critique on the coloring and the shading and the lighting. But from a low-level city girl that's a little bougie it looks really nice i don't mind it trust me if i did i would definitely say so all right continue on heh <laughs> i should test him by being quiet or did i stay still i'm gonna assume i just stood still okay okay bet there is an easy trick to find out if someone is following you or not if i turn three times clockwise or counterclockwise at fourths in the row I will walk in a circle. If the other person does that too, it means they have no destination. I enter a small alley. Wait, pause. You just said you'll do four turns. We didn't mention nothing about an alley. See, this is how you end up in your own horror film. Not the... Uh, okay. Mm -mm -mm. Let me... I want to walk into an alley. Let me walk into an alley. It's a boring life. You're right. I'm looking for excitement in an alley. Let's go. I take a turn. I turn once more. And again. Now, if he is still following me, I'll know it's not just a coincidence. Right on cue, I hear the boy's footsteps behind me. That guy is still following me? That sure is interesting. 
I speed up, trying to get him off my heels by taking more turns. All of a sudden, my arm is grabbed. Oh my gosh, that literally scared me a little bit. Oh my goodness. Ah! I abruptly stop and turn. Oh, I abruptly stop and turn around. I'm trying to do a voice, but I don't think I'm actually doing a voice. So sorry if it's coming off a little something. Yeah, my bad. I abruptly turn around. Ah! I abruptly stop and turn around. It seems that my stalker has caught up with me. Oh, he's just the first year boy oh gosh i gotta do voices in games like this i didn't think about that i suck at voices y'all so i do apologize if you prefer to watch people who can do voices you're just gonna get me and me and more me hello <laughs> hello um we don't know each other but we go to the same school and I just wanted to ask you something um i don't know if i'm actually doing like a lower voice so again i do apologize and why are you stalking me and following me you just wanted to ask me something shorty what is it well uh wait no if he's a first year he should have more of that girlier voice right okay we're not gonna think too much into it don't overthink it don't overthink it will you go out with me Okay, yeah, he definitely a first year. That makes sense. No. <laughs> Just the, the play, no. Oh, I love it. Silence. Crickets, crickets. Crickets, crickets. More crickets. <laughs> oh, wait, we just gonna stare at each other. Oh, my gosh. Why can't I see who he is? Oh, 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 my first choice. To break the ice, I say, oh, I don't know. I don't want to do is that all you wanted to ask? The answer is still no. Another no. Literally, like, is that it? Is that all you wanted to ask? The boy looks at me and scratches his head, obviously flustered. Oh, I probably should be more nicer, but I feel like with her whole energy, the fact that she said no off rip, I already got her attitude. So this is this is how we're gonna shape her. We're gonna shape her like this. I've never seen him before. This confession is too sudden. It might have taken a lot of courage for him to confess to me, but I do not appreciate his creepy, stalkerish approach of things. You really had me freaked out. You should have waited somewhere instead of following me around. I could have punched you when you grabbed me. Don't do that. Now, to be honest with you, I'm not interested in dating a freshman. Ugh. Huh? I thought we were in the same year. You look so young. How did you think we... Did you, have you seen me in your classes, my guy? I don't think so. Anyway, I, I wasn't stalking. I just... You got it wrong, all right? Maybe you should memorize the uniforms for each class. See, that's what I like about them. Like, you could tell who's in what class by their uniform type. I love that. Like, I wish we had something like that here. Ugh. I'm pretty new here. <laughs> the first time I saw you, I immediately fell for you. Will you go out with me, please? Give me a chance. I roll my eyes at his cheesy lines. <laughs> so impatient, too. My answer is still no. Now, let me go. Wait, he's still holding me? Hold on, wait a minute, wait a minute, wait a minute. I feel like I'm just like her inner bitch in a sense. Like, something's not right here. Please. The boy keeps holding on to me, even when I try to pull myself free. Frustrated, I violently tug my arm away. This guy's attitude is really creeping me out. All the more reason to refuse him. He doesn't seem to know when to give up. What a brat. Sorry, forget what I said. Give me another chance. Oh gosh, he. It's not a brat. That's just creepy level. Let's start off as friends and get to know each other better. You should have led with that. But no, you've already ruined a friendship with me too, buddy. Sorry, nothing. Yo, shit. <laughs> Don't just get the fuck out of me. Oh, my gosh. The boy grabs my other arms and pulls me closer. He is getting more forceful as he tries to keep our conversation going. Without warning, I knee him in the stomach. Yeah. He yelps and doubles over, finally letting me go. Ow. Ow. 
Don't make me repeat myself. I'm sorry. Please, give me another chance. Is he a masochist? I mean, I know I am, but... He reaches towards me again, but I step aside and grab his arm first. Skillfully, I seize the other arm and fold them both behind his back. When I speak again, my voice is stern, because of course, I have fighting classes and lessons, so I can take on a, lo a lowly first year. <laughs> Try that again, and you won't live to regret it. Eh. Uh, I never expected a small girl like you to be so strong, because I thought you would be an easy target for me to overpower. Ah, my manhood. Oh. I mean, yes, ma'am. <laughs> If you understand, then let go. With a sigh, I release the boy and watch as he runs away. Yeah, get out of here, punk. I hear him mumble something inaudible before he disappears down another street. The first years are always so troublesome. He calls me a small girl even though he was small himself. People like him will always stay persistent unless I'm clear with them. Maybe I should report him to the administration. Well, I probably roughed him up enough to teach him a lesson. Mm-hmm. Go me. Oh, I'm home. Oh, I love that lamp. Oh, is that a mirror or like a temperature? I don't know. This is cute. I can't wait to get my own place. Once I get home, I go to my room. Oh, and look at my room and the shelves and the closet. Oh, my room will never look this clean in real life, but here... It's gorgeous. We love it. I put my bag on the desk and drop down onto my bed. Bright days. I don't know why I thought that said something else. I want to look at the my room again. Maths? Oh, I suck at maths. What is that? Exam? Study hard? I started leaving little positive notes for myself. And then I stopped. I kind of want to start doing that again. Because affirmations really are key to hyping yourself up because if you can't hype yourself and be your own cheerleader don't expect other people to period as usual the silence of my house is so heavy i can feel it making my shoulders sag oh that's right we live alone oh, i live alone because my parents work overseas oh she do have parents or i have parents they are usually busy but they still call me whenever they can it's not like i miss them but it is boring to always be alone. I used to have many hobbies, but as soon as I grew up, they started to feel pointless. At some point, they all became repetitive. I do not want to spend my life in an endless cycle in the same routine, as if I'm not doing that right now. For the time being, I will just stay as I am. This village has always been quiet. Aside from the same holidays every year, there's not much going on. I wish something exciting would happen. Actually, perhaps I can make my own excitement. I can try something new. Unless my fate has already been decided for me. If I could, I would rewrite this boring village. Uh, I think I forgot something. There was something I wanted to do. Ah, that mysterious mansion. Hmm, I'm too sleepy right now. So tired. Um, my eyelids feel heavy, and before I know it, I'm fast asleep. Like a little sloth creature. The next day. Oh, goodness. Oh, is it my friend? And it's a bunny on her head! I like her! Oh, wait! Oh, she's talking to me. I was like, I'm Emiko! <laughs> Emiko! Emiko! I probably should have went by Lady, of course, because that's me. But for the game, for the game, no, we're going to stick with Emiko. Feel the immersion. What is it? Akuya? Is that Akuya? Akuya. Did you get the... F Ugh. Nah, okay. okay, what am I going to... Okay, I want her to be a little girly, I guess. Did you get into a fight with another student yesterday? Huh? Why do you ask? There's a rumor that you roped off a freshman yesterday for no reason. Okay, I feel like people are going to just stop watching me now for her voice. She's the first, that's the first thing that came to mind. Seriously? That brat. 
I should have reported him. Of course, I'm on your side. I don't believe you would do such a thing. A part of it is actually true, but to be fair, he was stalking me and being very forceful, so I simply defended myself. A dark-haired boy walked towards us. Oh! <laughs> the first love entrance? Yes, no, maybe so. Oh. Okay, boo. Oh, I know him, okay. His name is Loji. Like Ikuya. I don't know why I keep forgetting how to say her name. I met him in primary school. Oh, these are my actual friends. Oh my gosh, I actually have friends. Loji. Loji's the guy, right? Yeah. Oh gosh, another guy voice. Okay, he so we real upperclassmen, he's darker. Okay. <clears throat> we got him, we got him, y'all. Let's go. Emiko. <laughs> I don't even I feel like he sound like the first guy. Emiko. There's a difference between self defense and assault. <laughs> I feel like that's oh no, okay, there we go. Uh, 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 I hate his voice. I doubt Mr. Class President will ever understand. You really do remind me of a wild rose. <laughs> if I grew roots in this place, I'd die of boredom. Oh, <laughs> this reminds me of that time from two years ago, you know, when you beat up those seniors. It wasn't like I wanted to do it. Besides, I only got involved because they started hazing all the freshmen. It's not my fault I couldn't hold back. Yeah, this, this isn't actually me. Yeah, this is me and Emiko. Try to be nicer to your fellow students. Fine, fine, I will do my best. You should care more about your reputation. Aren't you afraid that you won't be able to make friends now that the rumor's going around? I didn't intend to make friends with the freshmen anyway. Duh! You friend that I can't remember name, bunny girl you. Iyuka. Ikua. I don't know why I cannot say her name. You always seem so bored. Meeting new people or falling in love will make your life more exciting. Mm, no comment. <laughs> shortly afterwards, mm, shortly afterwards, we began to prepare for our trip to the forest. Oh my gosh, a trip to the forest. What I've always wanted. Our history teacher will be our guy. He supposedly wants to show the class a monument we learned about in class. I wonder if I should talk in my voice when I do this to really differentiate because I feel like I stay in her monotone. And, okay, we're going we gonna to test this out for a second. I'm sorry I'm cutting, like, character a little bit. Okay. He claims pictures. Well, no, because this is not, like... No, we got we to gotta stay in her. We got to stay her. We, we go stay her. Okay, okay. Because then you know this is me talking when you hear this. Okay, okay. Sorry, sorry. All right, let's go. And sing. He claims books. Blah. He claims pictures and books are nothing compared to the real thing. <laughs> and we go to the next scene. The monument we will be visiting is only a 15-minute walk from our school. Gua is clearly not looking forward to this trip. She has been holding my hand tightly the whole time. Ooh, the forest! Teacher. Is teacher a guy or... Oh, this is a guy teacher, right? This is a guy teacher. Oh, fuck. How did I sound? How did I have to teach down? Everyone, don't stray from the path. You don't want to get lost here. Make sure not to disturb the wildlife either. Guess this trip, guess this field trip turned out to be even more educational than I expected. I've never seen this place before. Well, not recently. I got lost during the class picnic once when I was in primary school. This looks different from what I remember. Yeah, when I was like, yay, hi, and... Okay, let me shut up. Loji, have you heard about the demon in the forest? Yeah, everyone in my neighborhood is talking about it. Apparently, the rumor started after some tourists went missing on the trip there. Do you think it's true? I don't know. I've never seen a demon before. Don't they only exist in legends? Okay, side note. 
He has a bandage on his arm, so you know he legit is badass. Like, come on. He has the cross choker, the one earring, and then the collar is open. Like, come on. Bad boy vibes, period, point blank. Like, uh, if they, if them two don't get together already, then, like, we need to get together. And if we're not getting together, then, you know, all three of us. Okay, anyway. They say there's a truth behind every legend. This village has many tales, but I doubt they're all true. If it's true, I hope our little demon friend doesn't eat people. Even if it does, it wouldn't eat you. You taste so bad. <laughs> you could punch his low G. See? I love it. Look at the little irritation in her. I love the little mark on top of her head. And look at his smile. Oh, I need to be in this world. I need fake friends. like Well, not fake, but like, I need friends like this, but not real life. But like, in here, put me in, please. What? Oh, I was just kidding. <laughs> Why is this school taking us to a forest where a man-eating demon Freemly roams around anyway. The teacher doesn't believe the rumors. They think it's just a media stunt, and I know this is because my dad told me. Hmm. I guess we'll have to see what happens. There is one thing I would like to warn you about. What is it? It's not public information yet, but recently. A few villagers went missing in the middle of the night. No traces of them has been found. It's as if they just vanished. Oh my goodness! For real? I sure won't be walking around alone here again. In other words. <laughs> if we're headed in the same... Oh, <clears throat> that's him. Okay, side note. Every time I switch a voice, I actually lean to the screen. So for the guy, I lean to the right. For the girl, I lean to the left. In center, I talk for me. <laughs> so I leaned, it was like, wait, that's me. <laughs> okay, 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 let's go back. <clears throat> if we're heading in the same direction, I can walk you home. You could also ask your brother to pick you up. My, my brother? No, not him. Why? He's from the elite class. He sends out too much. Well, if all eyes are on you, no one's gonna make a move. But being picked up like a kindergartner? Sorry, but... Anyway, even though this news hasn't officially released yet, you two should be more careful. I don't want my friends to get hurt. I'll be fine. Anyway, should we ask Mr. Blanket? About that demon rumor? Don't mention that! You're ruining the mood! Let me ask him. <laughs> Loji gives no fucks. He's like, look, this is what I heard. I'm giving y'all the tea, but I want to find out more tea. And she's just like, motherfucker. <laughs> and then he runs away. Oh, that's so funny. We eavesdrop on Loji's conversation. Excuse me, Mr. Blockett. Do you know anything about the demon rumors? Oh, Loji, well, uh, well. The teacher lets out a sigh and scratches the top of his head. True teacher fashion. You don't believe in them, do you? Not in the slightest. This forest is home to many different species of animals. Some silly people probably mistook one for a demon. <laughs> Besides, there's no proof of their existence. The legends about this forest were just stories made up to scare little children. Duh. What about the missing Taurus? Would you call their disappearance a coincidence? I don't think they disappeared. It's very easy to get lost in a forest without a perfect map, without a map or a guide. That's what probably happened to them. You know, they're not eating somewhere. Their bones are just laying, waiting to be discovered and to be eaten too after the fact. But you know, never, never. A rescue team will find them soon. Just stay with the group and you won't have anything to worry about. Hmm. 
I see. So, what did Mr. Blanket say? He believes it's all made up. I don't believe a thing about this demon. Still, rumors have piqued my curiosity. There's at least a grain of truth to every story. Something must have caused the villagers to feel restless. Hey, what do you guys think about doing a little expedition of our own? That sounds interesting. But, but those missing tourists, what if we get lost too? Don't worry, I have a map. We could always signal for help with the torch. Really? You set the forest on fire with that! Why would you even have one of those? This isn't the Middle Ages! Just kidding. I've got a phone with me. Yes, Ikya! 21st century, we have cellular devices. We could just send a text or a call to the number for the police or my dad, who I get this information from that has to be somebody important. Duh. Oh, shit. I said all that without even reading that line right there. <laughs> Can you even get a signal out here? Mr. Blanket will... Uh, don't worry, Ikua. I'm sure everything will go smoothly. If anything does happen, you can blame it on me. Heh, <laughs> sure, but that doesn't guarantee our safety. Ah, uh, stop overthinking it. What are the chances of anything bad happening? It will be just like a walk in the park. The worst thing that can happen to us is getting lost. Of course that'll be the worst! Don't tell me you're planning for it to happen. Nah, it's just occurred to me. I haven't been to the forest in a while. This place looks worse in my memories. Yeah, this place looks too nice for a demon to live in. Yeah, of course, a demon will never live in a nice forest. We gotta go visit the shitty forest if we really want to see a demon, of course, duh. While we're here, we can look for the missing tourists. Well, I'm up for it. Come with us, Ikya. It could be fun. <sighs> Fine. Everyone gather together. Everyone gather together and let's go. The students line up in small groups. The teacher makes sure everyone is present before moving on. Psst. When do we sneak out? Let's head to the back of the line. He won't be able to see us there. As the group follows the path, we go the other way. Of course, why wouldn't some kids not want to explore a forest where people are going missing and demon rumors are surrounded? Prime real estate. A few minutes later, we end up at a fork in the path. Oh shit, they switched positions. Fuck, fuck. Okay, lean left. Oh gosh, this is gonna be awkward. Okay, I don't know if I'm gonna be able to do Okay, okay. <clears throat> Look for oh gosh no I gotta leave I still gotta leave right. Look for a crossroad. Which path shall we take? According to the map, the right path goes further into the forest, while the left one leads to a waterfall. Let's go to the waterfall. I don't think there is anything of interest amongst more trees anyway. Excited, Loji skips ahead. He skips. So I should make him more happy. My bad, Loji. I might have fucked your voice up, but you know, it is what it is. Oh, damn. He re oh, yeah. He real excited. Yeah, happy boy. After a few minutes of walking, we reach the waterfall. A large shimmering lake rigged by lily pads rests at the bottom of it. The cliff face of the waterfall also has a path of rocks lined along it providing easy access to the other side of the water. The water is so clear I can see the bottom. Whoa, it's huge! The water looks so sparkly, I wanna jump right in. You get so excited over the simplest things, don't you? Huh. There might be dangerous animals or bacteria in the water. If you jump into it, you'll probably be eaten alive. Oh, you're 
always ruin my fun. Lozy chuckles at her reaction. I take a closer look at the lake. I can hear the sound of birds singing, but there does not seem to be any other animals around. These rocks could serve as a perfect seat. Imiko, come over here. I'm going to explore for a bit. I'll be back soon. We'll be waiting here. Don't go too far, okay? Yeah, because I want to go off on my own without the map into a forest I barely know and recognize about a demon that may or may not be here while the two of you actually stay together in one section. Brilliant idea. I know. Don't worry. <laughs> I skip over to the right side of the waterfall. La -di -da -di -da! Try to see what might be behind the stream of water. To my surprise, there seems to be a hidden cave. Ooh. I like the music change, okay? From the corner of my eye, I notice a shadow moving in the bushes. It moves so fast that my eyes cannot make out what it is. It does not help that I was not paying attention. I mean, yeah, music cue changes will do that to you. Whatever it is, I'm pretty sure it went into the cave. I look towards the entrance and notice another path of rocks leading inside. Curiosity gets the best of me, of course, compelling me to take a look. I carefully make my way across the rocks. <gasps> I manage to get behind the waterfall. After I manage to get behind the waterfall, I peer around the cave. Ah! Okay, we're gonna go a little bit more, and then we're gonna stop. I kind of wanted to, I, I wanted to find a stopping spot, but couldn't. You know what? We're going to stop it right here. Alrighty, so that was going to be the first part of Dark Nights. Ah, I was so excited. My speaking is probably going to be vomitrocious when I go back to listen to this. But it is what it is. I hope you're enjoying it so far with me. And I hope you will continue to stay on this journey with me. So far, my parents are overseas and I'm just a lonely little girl that's bored of life. And me and my friends wandered into this forest and now we're going to try to figure out and search for either the tourists or clues of this mysterious demon. And of course, I just have to wander out by myself, which honestly is something that I would do. So totally me, totally me. And not me. I don't usually find interesting things. So I'm excited in this life. I found a hidden cave behind a waterfall. Fucking awesome. So go ahead and make sure you like the video if you're enjoying it so far hit subscribe so you know when that next video is going to drop and leave a comment about how you're enjoying it so far your thoughts your suggestions on other games either similar to this you think i should play or games in general i'm always looking to play some things lonely lonely bitch status you know otherwise you know the drill as well Mwah. i hope you all have a lovely day Bye bye now